Hello there and welcome to the Essentially Software channel. My name is Ian and as always I'm your host and we are the channel that tries to find the best business software for you so you don't have to. In today's video we are going to look at project.co, an all-in-one project management software that lets you design tasks, pay payments and all sorts of other crazy things as well all in one place so that all of your teams can be on exactly the same page. But before we go any further, don't forget that if you've got a comment or a burning question, then please put it in the comments box below. And of course, make sure to use the link in the description because that way you can get your money's worth and hopefully get a discount from the software as well because I'm gonna try and get you the best deal I possibly can. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so here we are on the dashboard and as you can see, it's fairly simple and easy to use. Um, basically, you've got your projects, you've got your templates, your tasks, your people, your groups, your files, your payments and your time. And all of these things, the idea is that it's designed to be shared with everybody or with your clients or with the people that you need in your team to be able to do everything you need to do in one place, which is what I really like about this kind of software. So the first one up, let's have a look here. Now, incidentally, when you first go in, you actually get a, uh, a little video telling you a little bit about it. It's a very short video, very quick and concise because you don't really need much because it's a fairly intuitive uh, project working space anyway. So first of all, let's click on projects and you can see uh, what you can do here. So basically you've got various projects. Now these are all test projects. So obviously you'll need to delete these before you put in your, your own details. But let me just go through some of these so that you can see. So for instance, if we go to the, the full project animation, um, incidentally, let's go, actually let's go to the welcome to the project one. Once you finish the project you can click on this box down box here uh, the drop down and you can open you can duplicate the project if you want to redo the same project again or something similar but pretty much the same with all of the details in it already you don't want to redo them that's quite handy you can convert to a template and you can complete the project so if I click complete project you'll see what happens is this updates that and that disappears from the box over there so as I said before you start you may want to go through completing the project now why would you want to duplicate the project I hear you ask well firstly is if you look inside here there's quite a lot of things that you can add in to the project. So and if it's a similar project all the time, you can just duplicate it and then change a few little bits, edit it a little bit, and you're all good to go. So this is an example of a full project based around the idea of creating an animated video. Uh, you can see that they've got the discussion of tasks, files, note, payments, time, and embeds. So here's all the tools here that they've decided to add to it. Um, including the script, uh, the storyboard, video review, all of that sort of stuff here. And if you want to add something else to it, so for instance, uh, you've already got video reviews there, you've got embed scripts. Uh, if you wanted to add, maybe you want to add a Google Sheet for some reason. Maybe you've got a, you know, a database that you uh, have of people or something like that everybody needs to access on this project. All you would do is you would hit add a tool and then you would go to single embed uh, and then you would simply search for the tool here. So in this case, you can see you can add your Figma if you've got you know various things for your logo. Uh, you've got a Google Sheet or Google Doc. Let's go with Google Sheet for now. So you would click that in, you would put your embed details in both of those and you would click save. And then basically that would add the sheet into this section here so that that way everybody can access it nice and easily. Um, now, in terms of your thing here, you've got your discussion, so you can click on that, obviously, and you can see what people are talking about. You can type in your comments there, and you can discuss that specific project. Uh, it's nice that you can easily be able to do that. Um, in terms of getting back to the same place, by the way, look, you can see up the top here, you can see it opens up a bit like a URL. So basically, as each one goes, each one goes there. So if you want to go back to the one before, you can either click the back button, or you can just click on it there, and it will take you directly back. Uh, you've got your tasks, you've got your files, your time, your payments. If you need to receive payments or if you need to request payments from this thing, then they can all be done here. Uh, and again, you just had new payment and then you put the filter for it, whatever you want to do. And again, clicking on the top there will take you back to the same place that you were in before. Um, and then, of course, you've got your files. So all files that are needed for the project, your project info, the storyboard, the video review. That is where you can put like a uh, maybe a Vimeo review or something like that that you've uploaded elsewhere. You can simply put that details in so that if people need to see, you know, maybe you're doing something for a client. Maybe you're making the animated video, for an example. You finish the video, you would upload it to here. So that way your client gets to see it at the other end and it's good and golden. You don't have to send it via email or send them a link or anything like that. It's literally all done under one roof here, which makes it nice and simple and nice and easy to use. 
So this is the project section here. As I said, you can create them however you want and you can add all the bits that you need to uh, to be able to do that. So if we now click on the home button, so here you've got your templates, your tasks, your people, your groups, your files, your payments, and your time. So uh, templates is obviously to start a new template uh, from thing, so you don't have to do things from scratch. You can literally add things as templates and you can use them. So rather than duplicating, you can create a template with it. So that way you can just reuse that all the time if you've got those things in there that you need. But doesn't take long to create one anyway so I don't think you have to worry too much about that uh, your task button this is all the tasks that need to be achieved by your team so if you've got a team that's working on stuff uh, as you can see here look, you've got different tasks here um, so you can put their name and then this is uh, easy plum easy go uh, you can put uh, um, Platt Smith and Hemingway so this is the the different thing this is for a lead tracker uh, so for instance if you want to look uh, here this is um, one of the tasks that would have to be completed okay and then once your team has completed it so they can drag and drop their files here uh, you've got the details of all of the tasks that you need there and you can add a field if you want to as well so you can add a project level custom field or an account level custom field whatever you want to do uh, so you've obviously got your groups there you can add the groups you need you can assign it to people um, you can you know set the main tasks and that kind of thing uh, and then here you can drag and drop your files and you can also type your comments in here as well um, and then once this task has been completed um, then you can literally when the the thing is closed you can see it's active at the moment all they have to do is click on the side here you can see this is to open duplicate or delete if you want to do that but once the task is completed you don't have to you know faff around with too many things you can literally just click this box here and then it goes up as completed and then that way the person knows that the task is completed and they will be then uh you know told that the task has been completed in their uh, in their section as well so therefore these tasks will then disappear from this box so let's say we completed this one and this one for example you can see they both come up with completed and then they both disappear because you don't need them anymore and the other person at the other end will also get updated that the tasks have been completed so uh, you know that's all good and uh, good and golden for the tasks it's nice and easy and it's nice and easy to work out so again if you want to go back to the beginning you just click on the little house in the corner there uh, people is the people that you want to invite and collaborate in the space and groups is exactly the same thing You might have a group of people that you want to bring in uh, your files is any files that have been uploaded to do with the project itself so therefore you can check out all of the files that have been uploaded and your payments obviously it's obvious what that is and your time is allocating the recorded time to where the time is being spent on projects so you can literally allocate a time that you want people to spend on that um, so that they don't spend any more time because obviously some people can get carried away uh, and that kind of thing so uh, yeah there you go that's pretty much all you need to know really about the um, about this piece of software it's a very uh, nice piece of software and very easy to use uh, and I love the fact that it's all in one place so there you are, that was my little review of project.co. Uh, one thing I like about the project itself, or about the software, shall we say, is the fact that everything is in one place. That's the whole design of the, the software itself, and it makes it so easy, because now if I have a team of people working on something, say I want to, even if I just want to, you know, like um, uh, get somebody from Fiverr, for example, to design me a, uh, let's say, a uh, uh, an animated logo, what I can do is I can literally send them the project with all of the project details in it, so that that way they just refer to that and when they're done they can upload it to there um, and then I can get to see the the draft of it and all that kind of thing and then everything else goes through Fiverr so just as an example is really easy for that reason and also you don't even have to you know use the Fiverr platform essentially because everything will be done through the payments and everything all done through that program as well so you know it's all a great thing that it's all in one space and it will save you time and a lot of hassle as well because rather than having to send out various emails that kind of stuff you've got it all in one place and therefore you can use that software to make sure that everybody is literally on the same page anyway thank you very much for joining me that was everything you need to know about project.co uh, if you've got any questions then make sure you pop them in the comments box below and of course don't forget to use the description so that way you can get a discount on the product as well thank you very much for joining us on the essentially software channel the channel that tries to find the best business software for you so you don't have to i'll see you on the next video bye bye for now